guys, this is Talia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming with floss two number eleven. It's gonna be a very short <laughs> floss two because I only work two days and I only work in three pieces, and one of them it was just like fifteen minutes. I've been busy and I have not been in the mood to stitch so. Uh, but I still decide to do the, even though it's, it's a short one, because not all of them has to be an hour, two hour long. I want to share with you guys the finish, the fully finish that I did for my, um, not how many, the one that I finished in, um, in my retreat. Other than that, I only have one thing of whole. And that was it. I was going to stitch. I don't know. I hope you guys uh, was able to, um, how you call it, witness the clips. Uh, my office closed down around 2.30 and sent us home. So oh, the destination uh, where I live, it was totally. So it got dark, real dark. Uh, it, it was an awesome experience. I, in my 55 years, I have never watched, seen one because I've never been in the path of one. So I have never been able to see like the red moon and other stuff because I'm never in the right place where those things happen. And this year we was in the path through Ohio, the eclipse path through Ohio. Of, we was in the path of the eclipse so we were able to witness it. It was it was a, a very interesting um, experience um, to see it. I don't know if I'll be able to watch another one. I don't know how often. I know the next one is in 2045, but it will be at the bottom of the United States. So Orlando, if you're in Florida, that area you'll be able because it will be through the through the lower part of the continent, right? So I don't know where I'd be uh, when in 2045. <clears throat> I don't know if I would still be alive or where I would be. So, but at least I got to experience once in a lifetime. Of course, I got pictures. I couldn't get pictures of the actual um, eclipse because I don't have one of those professional cameras. That's for one. <laughs> And then I was trying to pull the the clip glasses to my phone. I couldn't get no pictures of it. But, you know, there's always pictures in the internet. So I grabbed those from the internet. And uh, I, will, I will document that. Um, and I will put my story, you know. I, I saw it, but I didn't have the proper camera to throw pictures of it. And I'm me trying to fussy, fuzz it and try to tie the 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 glasses to this it was it was hilarious i watched it by myself um when i came home nobody was home my daughter saw it from warren which is part of it's another place and she said it, it got total there too real dark and the lights came up and all that stuff um i was on the phone with my mother she didn't want to see it she she was scared uh, of it so she didn't want to see it so i was like explaining to her what was going on what, what was happening and then she was looking at the window she said yeah over here got dark too all the lights went up in the park so it was it was an awesome experience i can't wait to scrapbook about that and tell my story of it so i thought that i was gonna um in memory of that i don't know if i want to stitch something i found i haven't buy it i found this um I found this pattern in Etsy, uh, and I, it's in my car because I don't know if I want to do it, <laughs> if I want to do it or not. <laughs> so it's it, it's a, the commemorating the the solo eclipse. It's a quick stitch. It's only two bucks. It's a quick stitch. It's in black and it's in yellow. I think I will buy it and do it and do a little pillow pillow to commemorate that. I'm in defense. I haven't I haven't purchased because of that. I looked for it the day of the eclipse and I found it and I was like, do I want to stitch that? But I think I will. I'm not sure. So let's start. So let me show you the finish that I did for my not how many. I'm not much of a framer. 
So I didn't frame it. I used the. So this is what I did. Isn't that cute? And I did a hanger, a hang piece. I put some lace. And this is trim that I had in my stash. I have a lot of trim because I do mini albums. So I have a lot of different kind of trims. And I thought that was cute. I I was supposed to go to Joanne and get some big rig rack. But I, I forgot. And then when I started working on it, it was like, should I wait and go to Joanne? I said, you know what? I have plenty of stuff upstairs. So I went to my ribbon um, thing and I found this one. And I thought that was cute. So I put it on. What I use is, uh, the back is not pretty at all. <laughs> I put the year because I, for I forgot to sign the piece. I never do anyway, but I just put it in the back the year that I finished it. And so I put, I found this ring. Oh, what I, what I was saying. What I'm using is these canvases that I get at Dollar Tree. I got one right here. Hold on. Um, this uh, Crafted Squares Canva Panel. So I got the 11 by 17, I think it was. And then I bought this one to put it here, but it was too small for the piece. It was too small for the piece. So because then I wouldn't have left no space. So what I did is I got a 11, uh, eight and a half by 11 chipboard, heavy duty chipboard that I have upstairs. It's acid free because it's what we, we use for mini albums. So I did that and then I put some um, quilt padding in the back. So it's cushy. And then this is a ribbon that I bought in Dollar Tree. I use my dye to cut it. I have a bow. That's the bow that I've been using in everything that I have finished lately. So I like that bow. So um, so I bought this in Dollar Tree, this ribbon. And then the flowers are for Dollar Tree because they was in my stash already. So I like it. It's gonna go right there with that big, where is it? Oh, that big. Thing above that, that's where it's gonna go. I gotta move that up more to the side because when I put it, it covers the Dahlia the Crafted Stitcher. But I, I also could put it over there in my chair, but I wanna put it here. So <clears throat> I love the way it came out. It's different. I, I'm not too much of a framer because I like to embellish the piece. I will frame some things, but most of my thing are gonna be done like this in canvases like that so it could be i know there's a i gotta go to home depot i look for it in dollar tree but i know there is something that you could put in the back so you could hang it like a picture frame thing i gotta get some of that and have it in my stash i didn't have nothing i look in dollar tree they didn't have it so i just put lace and made a hanging thing so I love the way it come out. The fabric that I use in the back, it was a fat quarter that I have um, in my stash. I do, I do have a big stash of fabric, so. And ribbons, because like I said, I used to do um, mini albums and sometimes we cover the mini albums in fabric and I do a lot of sewing sometimes. So I do have a big stash of fabric and ribbons and, and laces and things like that. So I thought that was cute, that little fringe um, thing that I had. So I love the way it came out. It's gonna go on the wall. So the wall, I'm starting to see things. It's so beautiful, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. So yeah, so that's that was my finish. Um, Next video, you're gonna see it hanging in there. Okay, so on Monday, Thursday. On Monday, I decided I didn't work at my friends. It's like I feel that I'm burned out with the same pieces, and it's like oh, I gotta work again on this. Oh, I gotta work again on this. So I haven't even started my April. 
little for the for the bitty bowl where is it it's somewhere in here it's in there for my bitty bowl i still have not started it i don't think i'm gonna even start it because we were almost half of april so and may is on the way so i don't know if i'm gonna start it or not but anyway i didn't want to work on friends I didn't want to work in none of the little ones that I'm working on, the monthly that I'm working on. And I was like, okay, what I'm going to work. So I decided to restart that I needed to restart my four gun because I started it as a mini, but then I didn't, somebody else finished the mini and I didn't like how pixelated it was. So I went and bought the whole, the big one. So this is my gun my price and joy it's a head it is uh what do you call it oh my god i forgot anyway it is by the art is by martha darling i love her pieces and i think 90 percent of my hats are martha darling and then the, the pattern is done by Heaven on a Design. I'm looking for a word, but I can't, I can't find it right now. So, oh, it's charted. The art is charted by Heaven on a Design, but it's a Martha Darling um, design. So I worked on it for three hours and a half, and I put 450 stitches. So this is it. I'll start it again. Um, when I stopped the other one, I had started some on here, but then I was working mainly on her. So that's what I'm doing. I uh, I started working. Um, that's her hair. Um, that's her hair. So uh, it has different colors. So this is, I started putting the second color of her hair now. Um, She's supposed to be my focus piece, but I work on it when I work on it. I love, I want to have her done quick, but she is a big belt that she is. And the app is going to give me the right stats for this one because it is a full cover. So every single stitch is, kind of, is counted and every single stitch I got a stitch. So for Garn... She is, I started her first in, um, I, the first one I started it back in 2020, but this one I started it on April 8th of the day of the eclipse. The original start for the other one was April 30, 2020. Um, this one I wore three hours and a half. I put 400 stitches I up 0.2% and I still have, and this is correct. This part is correct. I still have 193,950 stitches. This is a big belt that if I will be um, working on her only, it will be done by June 19, 2025, but I'm not, so it's not, it's gonna be a couple of years before I finish her. Unless I decide that I want to focus just on her and work on her. I don't know if that ever happened. There are 44 pages in this thing. And that's 1,494 and 10, uh, 10 minutes, hours reminding. And uh, 431 days reminded. That's if you're going to finish it. If you're only working on her. But I'm not. So, so that's the stats on that. It was good to work on her again. Um, I was more advanced than the other one. You could see I had cover practically for her hair. But when I saw it and somebody else, it was so pixelated. And I was like, nope, don't like it. So i rather restart her again. So that is her when I work on her again, when she comes out. Or when I feel like picking her up. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, didn't do nothing. Then yesterday, I I decided that I wanted to work and um, I have 
March whip go and April whip go that I have not touched. So I have them all together. I will work on them um, during whenever. I will work on them. So, but I grabbed yesterday, I grabbed one of them, which is the key. I will put a picture of what it was before. And this is a Barbara Anna design that it was gifted. It was gift. Ah, it was free during the pandemic. Uh, she released it free. So I am doing her. So, um, I am going to alter this item right here. It's going to be beaded and this triangle here are going to be beaded. So this is where I, what I did yesterday. So I did a line, I did a line and a half so I could finish the, the brown that I had in my needle. So it was one line of the brown and one and a half. And then I already had the key done, so I decided to go up to her dress. So that's it. And I worked on her. So she is my whip coat for April. So I already touched it once, so I gotta touch it one more time. So I could I could have met my goal for whip go, which is two two time, however time I could give them. So this one is touched once, so I gotta touch it again during April, so I could finish my goal. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do this part, the the dress, the top of the dress, because there's a lot of brown. I get bored easily with one color. So I'm gonna move up and then I go back down. So my goal, the next one is to finish this, the, the, the top of the dress right here. So that's whenever it comes out again. Hold on. Okay, so the next one that I work on, and it was like, I started working yesterday late, it was like 10. Something because the day I had to do some um, videos for my other channel and it took me the whole day. So um, so I started stitching around 10 o'clock and I was already tired. <laughs> so I worked, oh, I didn't give you this stuff for the key. For the key, I worked... The key I worked for 45 minutes and I put 125 stitches. I started at 9.53. That's what I was, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna stitch for long because I am tired. And then I'm watching, um, I'm being watching a new show, um, a Chinese drama. And when I get into the dramas, all I wanna do is being watch it. So I was like, I need, it's 10 o'clock. I still need, I gotta watch at least three episodes of the show. So by 11, I stopped because I was tired and then I wanted to go watch my show. So, so yeah, so after that, I work on, I did another new start, which is my April house. My April house. I love the colors on this one, it's purple. I love it. So I work, I work only 17 minutes, guys. I was like, ah, I gotta go. I'm planning to stitch tonight while I wash um, 90 day, 90 day fiance happily after. So that is uh, what I did, which is the roof. I started in the, I started in the middle and I started in the roof and I only did two lines of the roof and that was it that was it so like i said i worked for 17 minutes and i only pulled 52 stitches i told you guys this is gonna be a short 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 one but it's okay not everything has to be two hours long an hour and a half long so that is all the stitching i did this week um 
I am going to stitch tonight. And uh, we'll see what happens during the week. I don't make plans no more. Is if I feel like stitching, I stitch. If I don't feel like stitching, I do not stitch. So I just want to share with you guys what I bought. I only bought one thing. One thing. And that is, oh, it's huge. And it's heavy. Right here. <laughs> this is six yards of 14 count ada look how much it is in there look how big it is how wide it is it is 16 inches wide so you know all the fabric that i'm going to take out of this so that is the only thing that i bought <laughs> i have a lot of fabric i'm going to cut it in uh, fat quarters and I'm going to do a couple, uh, so yard and, uh, this is all to dye. So I'm going to, I had to, because it's so big, um, I had to cut it and then I had to surge it or, or, and then so I could start dyeing fabrics. Look at that. I am so happy. The only bad thing about this website, I get this, you don't need to have for, to buy this. You don't need to have like a wholesale account or something. This is open to anybody. I'm not affiliated with them, but it's a good deal, guys. Look, I bought I bought six yards. They are 14, 14 count and it's 16 inch wide. So it's bigger than what watch it sell it. But will it, you have to have a wholesale account, which I do have one with them. But it is more expensive with them and it's smaller, it's 45 inches wide. This one is 60 inches wide. You see how wide they are. So, oh, it's so big. See, this is how wide it is. All this. So, um. This is the same place where I bought my beige fra my bed beige fabric and my blue fabric and black fabric when I bought it by the yard. It's that website. It is open to anybody. You don't have to have a wholesale account. So it's a retail. And I pay $13.99 per yard. So that's not bad. So for six yard, I pay $83.94, which I used to pay that in three clubs for three pieces of fabric. So I said that, I, I mean, I, it's not opalescent. That is my preferred fabric opalescent, but hey, you can't beat that. So I am going to dye these all kind of colors and I can't wait to play with that. But yeah, if you are Ada girl and they also have red gray black no they didn't have black this time last time when i bought it that was in 2020 and i still have a whole bunch of yards there uh they didn't have white that time so that's why i bought the beige the blue the black now i bought this last week and i got it within two days it's shipped from chicago so that's why i'm in ohio so i got it in two days so um what i was saying <laughs> okay so now they have red they have blue but i didn't buy blue because i still have maybe like three yards two to maybe two yards of blue and i still have like four or five yards of the beige one so i didn't buy that and i think i still have black yeah i have black one a couple of yards still so and red is not a fabric that i will use much so i didn't buy the red and I only bought the white one. I bought six yards of white one. And guys, I used PayPal for paid in four payments. I didn't even have to pay. And when I pay that off, I'm going to order six more. And I'm going to stash myself with fabrics. And I don't have to buy fabric for nobody. It is not opalescent. I am looking to get some opalescent from Wilchit. But like I said, it's expensive. Wilchit, one yard, one yard of opalescent. 15 inches wide it is 24 dollars a yard 
when this one was $13 all you are and it's 60 inches and you know all the fabric you could come out of that I mean half quarter, half quarters different small sizes as you cut um, so yeah so that's gonna be a project I'm gonna cut it because it's so big like I did with the other one the other one I cut it by the yard and just having fold by yards but yeah i am happy i have fabric to play with i am gonna go i have a good stash of red but i'm still missing a few colors so i am gonna go buy those other few colors that i'm missing so then i could have a well well stash and then i could do different um different colors and i say when we hit 100 subscribers on this channel which we are this close i will do a giveaway so i am planning to give a uh, fabric a couple of fabrics also so that's when we reach 100 subscribers so if you know share my video show my videos share uh, like subscribe that helps um youtube offer my videos for other people so and the two ladies that won the little needle books i am going to put them in the mail this week for uh, me what is it from me baul de amis i had to go to the post office and verify how to mail to peru i had never mailed international so i had no clue how you do that I know you have to fill out a special paper for that, but I already have them packed and I'm going to the post office this week and get the information because I don't want it to get lost. So I could mail it to Peru and the other girl is in the United States. So that's no problem. And once I mail them, I will email you to the tracking number so you could track it. So, and that's all I have for you guys. That's it. Short and sweet. So um hopefully i'll come back again next week with more projects but if it's one or two projects it is what it is so um thank you for watching and until next time bye now oh i forgot to tell you guys the website um it is gonna i am gonna link it below i'm not affiliated with it i don't get a penny if you guys buy fabric but I mean it's a good deal and buying fabric out there is expensive and if you want to try your your hands in hand dyeing that's it's, it's a very affordable and hand dyeing is not that hard all you need is smaller bowls and red that can give you the combination of what you gotta use so i wanted to mention that because i told you about it but i didn't mention the website the website is www.burtlab.com, burtlabfabric.com. I will link it below in case you want to take advantage of that. So that's it for now, guys. So I'll see you by in the next one. Bye now.